day in Tel Aviv today, then tonight we have a family event. Sunday evening, as in six days from now, off to Hong Kong. That's going to be an interesting trip. This week as a whole, it's going to be pretty great. Here we go. Made it to Tel Aviv. Good news. You know where I'm going with this, right? Parking in Tel Aviv this morning. I need a car wash, but I got parking. I love it when I get parking. I figured out the focus on this camera. I think it's in focus right now on my face. Let's try to focus on my laptop. Product hunt's in focus. I'm in focus. Prove is in focus. I'm in focus. Slack is in focus. I'm in focus. Boom. We work. In focus. I'm in focus. All right, this is working. Let's see here. Envision's in focus. I'm out of focus. You see me back here? Here we go. You ready? Find me. Find me. There you go. All right, we got it. I think. Don't want to jinx it, but had some serious drama with this autofocus issue and as I mentioned in previous episodes if you google it and you watch YouTube uh, videos about the GH5's autofocus you'll see that there are some serious issues. Anyway, uh, I'm, I'm getting to learn this camera. It's, it's a beast and um, I love it. It's also my first kind of more professional camera than, you know, an iPhone. Let's see, is the Apple in focus? Hmm, maybe could, there you go. It's in focus. No, I'm in, I love this. This is my first more professional camera and it, it's a lot of fun, but definitely learning curve. Anyhow, uh, a couple of, couple of great meetings today. Uh, hopefully we'll get some cool interviews in. And then tonight, uh, as I mentioned, we have a little celebration. And Sunday evening, going to judge an app competition in Hong Kong. The Israel Export Institute is flying me out there. Business. That's gonna be awesome. I don't really know what to expect. Never been to Hong Kong. I've been to Shanghai with Huawei, but I've never been to Hong Kong, so I'm very excited about that. I gotta say that uh, after coming back from Paris and feeling super duper like a fish out of water, I'm pretty sure I'm going to enjoy Hong Kong a lot. Yeah, it's a different culture. Yeah, there's language barrier, but I just feel like it's a little more welcoming than Europe as far as Jews are concerned. And that's all I'm gonna say on the topic. Let's see what happens if I zoom in, if it still maintains. Ooh, look at that. Wow, that is super awesome. I'm now going to lunch with somewhat of a legend and I didn't even realize it. So I get a uh, Facebook message a few weeks back from a guy named Bay McLaughlin. We were Facebook friends. His profile picture is with Justin Khan. So figured he's gotta be legit. And he tells me he's coming to Israel. And so he said, we're gonna have lunch. Literally this morning, I was like, all right, I need to know some context on who I'm going to meet, which by the way, lesson. Go to a meeting, research. You're asking some, somebody for something, research. Side point. Anyway, I literally opened Google and I Google his name to see who this guy is that I'm about to meet for lunch. Let me tell you what his LinkedIn says. Bay McLaughlin has supported technology startups for the last decade. Over half of this time was spent at Apple as a founding team member of their global SMB channel and as the founder of their first entrepreneurship evangelism channel. To support startups at Apple, Bay partnered with the world's best founders, venture capitalists, incubators, and accelerators to identify and solve the most pressing strategic issues. His division at Apple has grossed more than $250 million. Okay, well it's a good thing I did my research because now I have the context. Anyway, off to lunch, so maybe I'll get some interview footage with him, maybe not, we shall see. But one thing's for sure, it's gonna be an interesting meeting. And here I am thinking that I solved my focus issues. There were some serious focus issues in that last segment. Now I'm on manual focus. So now I can actually chain, turn the ring and go out of focus, like I'm doing right now, and go back into focus like I'm doing right now. Anyway, we didn't solve the autofocus problems, but we're one step closer to solving them. I could always use manual focus, which is what I should be doing anyway, but yeah, that, that last segment, apologize for the focus issues. Now I'm out of here to go meet Bay McLaughlin. This is gonna be fun. Someone just asked me for directions and her teeth were covered in lipstick. Would you say something? Did I say something? Guess you'll never know. I'm like, 
Yeah, but you're like a silhouette. Like, I see your shadow, I don't see your face. I'm Yitzrev. You walk <laughs> around with that camera everywhere now? Who are you? Who are you? Uh, Faye McLaughlin, uh, one of the co-founders. Hey, how do you pronounce your last name? McLaughlin. Scottish. I it was McLaughlin. Scottish. Scottish. McLaughlin. McLaughlin. Oh, wow. Okay, I, yeah, I was yeah. pronouncing it wrong. Yes. I, I did a little thing before saying I was going to meet you. I think I pronounced McLaughlin. Yeah, whatever. All right, anyway. I, I, Bay's good. First of all, how was that steak? <sighs> this guy's killing me, man. There's like, how much I eat? 450 grams? Something like that, yeah. Plus the appetizer. Yeah, and a goose liver on top. Don't forget and the goose liver. And I just had breakfast at 10 o'clock. Awesome. So, it was good, though, right? Too good. Okay, so too just good. in case there were other reasons for you to come back to Tel Aviv, now you got the steak. All right, so give me, give me your background and like, 20 seconds, who are you? Uh, lived in the Valley for eight and a half years, worked at Apple for six years on and off. Wait, I've... pause. You didn't just work at Apple. You were pretty serious at Apple. What'd you do there? You, you, you let up what? I helped them build the SMB division, which became 2,000 people and a billion dollars. Worked with almost every single tech startup you've ever heard of, every single VC you've ever heard of in the States. Uh, I was in Apple Education in college, worked with Prime Ministers of Education, uh, helped work on the Advisory Council with John Couch. So you are you just summed all that up with, I worked at Apple. Like, come on, dude. Fair enough, fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough. So fine. Fair so you were at Apple. Then after the that... marketer, consummate marketer. I can't help myself. After that... I started consulting, had VCs put me into their companies, was consulting my own companies. Can we talk about which company you worked at after uh, Apple? Intercom was one of my favorites. It's the hottest company in yeah, Definitely one of the hottest companies. Intercom's in badass. Uh, what's up? De Owen, Dez, everyone there killing it. Um, and then I moved to Asia, man. I've been doing hardware three and a half years. Uh, built accelerator programs, a studio in China that helps founders get China right the first time. What's the website? Brink, B R I N C dot I O. I O. Why not dot com? By the way, you couldn't get dot com? I don't even know. I don't remember. Get dot com if you can. Uh, so we're actually flying to Hong Kong together Sunday night. Totally random. Completely random. But we are. Um, Hopefully we don't lose my bag again. Really? Dude. You lost 11 you. days without my bag. L O. Oh no, that's horrible. Oh no. You really lost your bag. 11 oh, days. That's hor so you, you didn't get it back? I've gotten it back 11 uh, days after it being lost. At least lost. you got it back. It could have been worse. All right, well, so t what's your, is this your first time in Israel? First time. And? Crushing it. This is the coolest place. Super happy. Went on this crazy tour, reality tech tour. It's from the Schusterman Foundation. You usually have to get an invite to apply. Find a way to get an invite. I've never been on a more important tour in my entire life. It was full of 50 badass technologists and VCs all together for eight days seeing everything. Man, went to the Golan Heights, went to Jerusalem, went to the Dead Sea, went to... Do you uh, feel like it's dangerous here? Do you feel safe? Do you feel dangerous? Like, do you feel like it's dangerous? I, I feel safe. I mean, I talked to you over lunch. Like, there have been incidents while I've been here. Right. Um, we had security with us the entire trip. Um, but I never personally felt it like an issue because right. we're not the target, right? right? But I think I think the challenge, my wife and mom and mother-in-law, like they message me quite often, right? Yeah. They're like, look, random is random. But I tell them, look, if I was in Detroit or in Chicago, I'd be in much more danger statistically than being here or pretty much anywhere. So. You know, like, not to get into it, but like all the victims, and I, you know, it's horrible, the, the conflict is bad. All the people that have lost their lives to this conflict is like a speck, you know, compared to like what's going on in Syria every single day and crime, and we're talking like, Again, every lost life is a hard tragedy, but let's put things in perspective here. But I don't want to get into that. It's bad vibes, you know. But overall, good. no. I have not felt danger, and it's a fantastic place. Like, I'll be back for sure. All right, so tell me real quick, kind of, not your elevator pitch, a little longer than your elevator pitch about your program, Brink. What does it do? Who should care? Who's your target? Really simple. Anyone that wants to make a physical product, period, you need to join Enter China as our online community. It's a lifetime membership platform. There's 300 hardware founders from all around the world, 200 years experience around China, shipping over 6 million units so far. Love it. If you have questions, this group will answer those questions. The next part is once you're ready, you have an idea that makes sense, you can join our accelerator programs. Our accelerator programs are virtual and remote. You can stay in your home country, come to China and Hong Kong when you're ready. Love it. After that, you can join our studio. Our studio helps you actually design and develop the product in China, doing it right the first time. Now, you don't have to go through the whole system, although a lot of founders do. You can join at any stage you're at. Our job is to support hardware innovation. Wherever you are, at whatever stage you are, we want to help. I really hope the sound is okay with this loud music, but anyway. So, I mean, the, the question that I guess many of you guys are thinking, and I asked, and everybody I guess asks you every day is, hardware, why should I care? Why is it interesting? Software, you get distribution, it's easy. You build an app, the whole world can try it. Hardware, you gotta ship it, you gotta manufacture it. Sell me on hardware. The entire physical world will have a passive or an active sensor at some stage in our life. Every single object, the floor, the waterways, the trees, the dirt, everything. This and thing is gonna be a joke. This phone is going to look so small in comparison 
to how the hardware revolution is going to help connect the world. Like this is the most valuable business on the planet and this will look paltry in comparison. So you either do one of two things. Jump on the software trend, which is so critical, of course, our connected projects need software. However, you can get and wait on the other side of the train tracks where the innovation has to come to you or you can help build the freaking train tracks yourself. That's what we're doing. We're unlocking the world's data. And if you want to have value in your lifetime, all of you that missed the app revolution, all of you that missed the mobile revolution, the thing that is going to change this generation's entire life is going to be hardware. So participate or don't. Skate to where the happen. puck is going. That's right. Love that expression, by the Gretzky, way. Gretzky, yep. Fantastic. All right, dude. Well, good luck. And like I said, let me know if I can help come back to Israel soon. Bring, you know, bring the hardware revolution to Israel because this is where it's at in terms of software. And the next wave is hardware. So we should lead the way. Like we're leading the way in software. I'll be back. No and, question. And, uh, Save me some time for steak next time also, all right? Steak. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> like nauseous even thinking about it. All right, man, thanks. Honestly, that was a pretty legendary meeting. What this guy's doing for hardware and for the development and scaling of hardware businesses is pretty unprecedented, I think. I mean, you think of, you know, startups, most people kind of embrace software because, again, it's easy distribution and who knows anything about manufacturing. And, you know, as a result, not many entrepreneurs are embracing hardware and therefore not a lot of investors are embracing hardware. So, you know, I know here, very, very few investors are even looking at hardware businesses because there's just too much barrier. And so what he's doing in, uh, in Hong Kong is just removing that barrier and making hardware a little less scary. That's super cool. And we figured out we're going to be on the same flight on Sunday to Hong Kong. So that's also super cool. Anyway, really, really awesome guy and sort of a legend, actually. I mean, the experiences he's had at Apple and at Intercom and all these other companies, it's pretty wild. Happy to hear he's enjoying Israel. And yeah, I think that was a pretty cool interview. Hope you liked it. Now heading home to a friend's kid's bar mitzvah and let's start packing for Hong Kong. See ya.